All right, hey guys, with Abomination9 here, we're back playing some more Pokemon trading card game online. Now we're going to be opening up six boosters and two chests, I think, in this uh, video. Now, obviously, I'm pretty much running on fumes on trying to get packs here, but I'm pretty sure I can still hold out doing this for at least another day or two. So we got a couple here. Uh, some of these I got playing tournaments. I, like, I tried out tournaments, trying to see what that is. I got a couple there, got a couple chests from the tournaments as well. Well, I know we got one chest from a tournament, one chest because of them constantly having server issues. I guess they just gave everyone a chest. I guess we'll start with uh, King's Con here. Okay, absolutely nothing new except for the Sacred Ash and. I have like so many of these, so I don't know why it's saying that one's new. Uh, so Spritzy, uh, Lit Leo, a couple Lit Leos, Geodude, Sentrit, Sacred Ash, uh, Fletchinder, and a Weevil. Ugh, barely anything. Hopefully we get something good from these chests, because I know we got some pretty good stuff. Oh, and it, it's actually rare, because it's hidden. Oh, it's just an Aurorus. I, I'll read it. So any damage done by opponent's attacks to your, uh, to each of your water Pokemon that has any water energy attached to it is reduced by 20. So this works even if this Pokemon's on your bench, which is probably where you would want to have it. And four to do 70 damage and put them to sleep. All right, just some double energy, so nothing, nothing crazy from there. Hopefully this isn't just a bust. Otherwise I'll have to like throw this in with like another video, whenever I get more packs. So I don't, how many of these have we opened? I'm pretty sure we opened up a lot of these, right? Yeah, because uh, we haven't got too many new things here. We got a Metal Energy, which is weird. Uh, Venipede, Voltorb, Talo, Fennekin, Lydian, Volbeat, and a Holographic Scolipede, which is pretty good. I can put that in the Psychic deck. And another Malamar. I think this is a different one. Is this a different one? Mental trash, your opponent flips four coins, each tails he or she uh, discards, oh, for each tails he or she discards a card for his or her, from his or her hand. So this is a new one, because I haven't seen that one. Malamar, I really like. I wish I could get, like, the EX version of him or something. And Distortion Beam, 30 damage, flip the coin. If heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. If tails, your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. So that's always good. A attack that no matter what you flip you will always inflict the status upon your enemy which is pretty good so this is another good malamar malamars in general i think are good oh yeah uh at some point before we move on uh, i will be trying to acquire this uh, i was gonna end up buying the uh i forgot her name is it militic no i don't think it's that yeah, it might be Militic. I was trying to get that um, booster pack. I didn't realize it was a booster pack until it was too late, and now it's gone. Uh, and now the Black and White series comes out, which comes with three booster packs, a special Dark Ride card, and a coin. So I'm going to save up to get that and open that up on the channel. Okay, so I don't think we've opened too many of these, so we might actually get something pretty good. Or at least new stuff. Eh, only a few news there. So Clefairy, though, I don't think I've seen this card art. Maybe I have. I don't remember seeing that. Uh, Spritzy, Froki, Gibble, or Ghibli, whatever. Uh, Ratatat, Slowbro. Let's read the Slowbro. Flip a coin of heads has attacked us 50 more damage for one. And Wake Off Homer, a oh, Walk Off Homer. If you use this attack when you have only one prize card left, you win this game. What? What? So if you somehow get one prize card left and you have just been keeping Slowbro on your bench waiting to get that one card, all you had to do is retreat your Pokemon, boom, you won. Jesus. A heat more, cloister, a cloister, and a camera up. So I don't think I have a camera up. I don't even know if I have a Numel. 
Ram for 30 and Eruption for 80 plus. Each player discards the top card of his or her deck. This attack does 60 more damage for each energy card discarded in this way. I mean, that's a lot. What is it, like 200 damage? Roughly? Yeah, you can max out at 200 for this attack. Well, 220 if you have the uh, Muscle Band attached to Camel Rupt here. That's a pretty good card. I mean, not looking too good when we have three packs left and we haven't gotten EX. The drops seem to be getting worse and worth worse with each video. Oh, we got a new flip card. So C Dot, uh, Clefairy, Scropey, Spritzy, Psyduck, Luxio, uh, Electrovire, which I didn't have one of these, so that's cool. Yeah. Knuckle Punch for 30 and Electro Slug for 90. But I don't want another one of these New Age Misties. I prefer the old Misty, but whatever. Oh, we're gonna read this, so. Choose which way this card faces, blah blah blah. This attack, the attacks of this player's dark Pokemon do 10 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon, which is pretty good. Uh, any damage done to this player's po uh, metal Pokemon by an opponent's attack. Uh, reduced by 10. Is, is reduced by 10. Alright. Which is weird, kind of. Uh, so I think how these work are you have to choose which side it's facing. And half the card affects your opponent, half the card affects you. So if you had a dark deck, you would have this side on um, you. And you would do 10 more damage with your dark Pokemon. And you would make sure to not have metal Pokemon in your deck so that putting giving your opponent uh, reduced damage from being hit by a metal Pokemon doesn't come into effect essentially and oh cr oh my god well I mean there we go there's our uh, thumbnail Mega Gyarados EX Jesus Christ okay yeah, so I'm not gonna read what his attack is so I can actually just read the Japanese uh, so Brasto Geyser. So Blast Geyser? Is that what it says? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. This is Blast Geyser. So yeah, this says this is Blast. And this is Geyser. Or Geyser. Hold the uh, A. So yeah. Blast Geyser. 120 damage plus. You may do 20 more damage for each water energy attached to this Pokemon. If you do, discard the top two cards of your deck. Like, why wouldn't you do that? As long as you haven't been burning your deck with draw cards, like, this would be perfect. I mean, that's a lot of damage. Just once you actually get the ability to use this attack, this attack does 200 damage. Off the bat, you're hitting for 200, and with a Pokemon that has 240. So yeah, that's pretty good. Retreat costs a freaking 2. I don't have a Gyarados EX though, so this card's pretty much uh, null and void until I get one. Oh, we got two again. Uh, Purloin, Krabby, Murkrow. Oh, cool! We got a Murkrow! Oh man, now I can get like a really good. Uh, dark deck because his evolution we got his card in the last video right or one of the videos we got his evolution that's like I, th I thought he was better than the dark right EX because his first attack puts the enemy asleep and his second attack does 120 damage to sleep Pokemon I think that's what it said so like I felt like Murkrow's evolution whatever that is I don't remember his name I, I forgot his name is way better than dark right EX or the one the dark right EX is that I have I have two of them uh, Gumi Venonat, Target Whistle, Han Hand Scope, we haven't got one of these. Your opponent reveals his or her hand, okay. So a Hollow, it's a Venomoth, I'm cool with that. And next one is... Uh, Musharna. Yeah, Musharna, which I don't think I had. Is it new? Yeah, I don't have one of these. It's not holographic, so... I don't think I would have a holographic one, so this is brand new. Uh, Dream of Memory. Shuffle three cards from your discard pile into your deck. That's okay. Dream Dance. Both active Pokemons are now asleep. So 30 damage for a guaranteed sleep, but also sleeping yourself. Eh. So I haven't got any Gengars out of that uh, deck. I don't know if I have any... 
gotten anything to put on the side. Because the last two videos, I had an EX and like two decent cards to throw on the side. Since I haven't been getting two EXs like I was previously, so I don't know. Shuppet, Dratini, Swablu, Bagan, Pikachu, Exe Ex Executor. I don't know why I have such a hard time saying their names. A uh, Wally, Electrode, or Hollow is a full card art. Oh, it's not even a Hollow, it's just a full card art. Uh, Altar. Uh, Altaria and please EX. Ah, full card art dust talks. I'll throw him on there. I'm I'm cool with that. He'll be my side Pokemon. Dust talks. If your opponent's Pokemon is knocked out by damage from attack of this Pokemon, take one more prize card. Oh, that that is actually a really good card. This is like Articuno. There's an Articuno that does the exact same thing. So flat for twenty and. Wind Shard for 3. This attack does 50 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Okay, so this Pokemon is one you don't necessarily want to be fighting up against the active. You want to have something that kind of like disables the active Pokemon from really doing anything to you. So maybe having armor attached to Dustox or some kind of put them, put them to sleep or confuse them before bringing Dustox in so that he can just kill their bench, and if if he's able to successfully kill three Pokemon on the bench, you've won. Especially at 50 damage, that will kill most things in two shots. Unless, like, he's been beefing his Pokemon on his bench, or they have been beefing their Pokemon on the bench. This is, that's a good card. That's actually good enough to just put it by itself, in my opinion, and just have it next to the EX uh, Mega Gyarados. But yeah, what was that talking about the these dark rice? I was saying like these dark rice aren't too great because this attack does 160 if the Pokemon's asleep, but this attack doesn't do anything. It uh, doesn't put them to sleep, so they're never going to be asleep unless they put themselves to sleep or you put them to sleep with another Pokemon. Uh, but the first attack's pretty decent, I guess. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Tune into the next episode, which I don't know what that'll be. That might be 10 openings if I sit here and grind the, like, tomorrow or the rest of the day um, through the trainer challenge. Whatever. So yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Tune into the next episode. Like, subscribe, comment, and to do. See ya.